What's up guys? Well, finally I got to jump into this game today. Uh, I did some uh, custom paint scheme and uh, the, as you can see the fire suits are now customizable which I really appreciate. I love it. Uh, I like details like that. They need to keep pushing further in this direction. And uh, I love it because you could uh, make your fire suit match your custom paint scheme. You got your whole crew wearing the same fire suit. I think that's awesome. I love it. So moving on from that, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my early impressions. Uh, right now, I'm not going to do career mode. Uh, I'm just going to focus on single player races. I want to test the game out at the highest difficulty. I got everything set at normal. I took off the, uh, the drafting uh, help. I think that the AI is a little too aggressive with the draft the help. I don't really want to use that anyway. I kind of want to see how challenging the game is. So I got it, of course, at 105. And I took off the stages because I kind of want to see how this uh, game plays out with long run uh, green flag racing and hopefully uh, pit stops as well. Um, the one thing I've noticed so far, I've had, I had a lot of trouble with the steering wheel settings. I had to play around with it a lot. Uh, and even now I've, I've got it dialed in. It's not perfect. There's a dead spot in the wheel I don't like. It makes the it has a floaty feel to it. I'm, I'm not really crazy about it. And it's taken me some getting used to. But I have the dead zone all the way down. And there's still a little dead spot. Like it's just floaty. I raised the sensitivity just two clicks. And that seemed to like help tighten it up a little bit. But it's still not perfect. I got a G29 wheel. And I'm on a PlayStation 4 Pro. So, uh, we're going to jump right in. I did run a few practice laps. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is nothing like last year. Uh, you are going to have to wheel the car more, and it's a lot more sensitive. So, yeah, you got to have more skill to really wheel these cars around. Just, just talking about the car handling. Uh, I don't know how it's going to play out with the AI, I have to be honest, uh, I've seen a lot of gameplay video online and I've seen a lot of races that look too easy, but I've also seen some that look really challenging. So I don't know what to expect and it, I'm suspecting it's going to be uh, on a track to track basis. Every year it seems to work out that way. There are some tracks that are just more challenging than others with the AI. So without further ado i'm just gonna we're gonna jump right in i'm gonna skip practice i'm just gonna go right to the race we're gonna start from the back and uh let's see how this works out the the, the game looks and sounds fantastic i couldn't ask for more when it comes to the sound It is everything I've been asking for in terms of, uh, you know, these games needing to sound authentic. So All here right, we are. Man. You're coming to the green. Are you ready now? Green's out, man. Let's go. Car high. Careful there. Careful. Still there. I'm just going to pace myself. I don't want to be over aggressive. I do have the uh, field spread on normal as well. I was going to put it on wide, but from the limited gameplay footage I've been watching, the AI seems to do a good job of spreading out even on normal. So I want to try that first before I switch to like a wider uh, setting. Clear all around there. 
here, so I'm, I'm not gonna be too aggressive. I just wanna feel it out for a little bit and let the field sort of start spreading a bit. And like I said, the uh, wheel doesn't feel perfect. I might have to still play around with it a bit, but I, I spent a long time just jumping in and out of practice and changing the wheel settings. This is the best I could do at the moment. Maybe it's not set up, uh, or I should say optimized for the G29 Logitech wheel. But it's, I, I guess it's livable right now. Loving that sound. And there's a heavy feel to the car. It is more sensitive. And you do have to be mindful of your input. You got room, you're clear. Keep hitting your mark. You keep getting better. Yeah, I'm letting off just a little early on the entry. I don't want to overdrive. Oh, oh okay. All right, I'm going to stay out. Damn, what was that? Oh, yeah. That was uh, Chase Elliott. All right, we're going to stay out. Yeah, like I said, I want to kind of let it come to me. I don't want to be over aggressive. I do notice that from uh, all the gameplay footage, you can get a decent jump on restarts, but I'm choosing to like kind of hold back a little bit. I'm not really 100% comfortable with the new feel yet. I want to get used to it. And I am racing at 25%. Uh, I'm on a PS4 Pro, like I said before, and I can only record an hour of footage. And the last time I tried to run a 50% race, it got cut off before I finished. So a 25% will give us a good idea of what's, uh, what's going on. You can hear everything, not just the engine, but all the little creaks and rattles inside the cockpit. I can't tell you how happy I am with the sound this year. I mean, they finally got it authentic. set up one click to the loose side. I didn't want to overdo it. I just want to really get used to the feel of the car before I get more aggressive with the settings. But so far I'm really happy with uh, what I, what's going on. Still got a little clump right here, but for the most part, you can see the field spreading out up front. And like I said, I, I have it on normal. I know on a wide setting, they would be a lot more spread by now, but this is not bad. This is uh, something that I could live with probably. Yeah, I could. You can feel the tire wear. Okay. 
Now, I am pacing myself. Outside, outside. But I think I've done a decent job. I think I only made contact once with somebody. And I'm proud of that. I see a lot of gameplay footage and people overdrive and they smash into other cars. Uh, and I try to race as realistic as possible. I try to treat it like, uh, you know, it's a real race. So I try to ease in and out of the corners and not overdrive and try to avoid making too much contact. Whoa. Oh yeah, I'm in trouble now. That tire wear, it, it'll, it'll surprise you. I hope the audio is coming in okay. Uh, I got the, the uh, engine sounds really blaring into my ears. So it's hard to tell if my voice is coming through clearly or if I'm maybe talking too loud. I hope, I hope not. Yeah, I think maybe for the next race, I'm gonna put the AI to widespread because even though you could see that they are spread up front, there is like a, this, this little groupie is still clumped up a little bit on normal. But it's not, it's not too bad overall. If I could get past these guys, yeah, I think I'll be alright. Well, car there he is. Got a car coming inside now. Alright, clear up. Hold your line. Yeah. The tires are definitely wearing. Whoa! That car in front of you is coming to the pit. Okay, somebody's pitting. And I, I didn't like that checkup. Car high, careful there. What the hell was that about? Maybe he had a tire going down? That was Denny Hamlin. Uh, like I said before, I got I, I took the stages out. I just want to, you know, I'm in testing mode right now. I, I don't want all these uh, stages to interrupt the racing. I've done a decent job of avoiding contact for the most part, except for when they checked up there, but this is, I think, more realistic. I've also avoided the wall, which is good. I really, really like the new feel of the game and, and the sound and the visuals. Uh, this is the best uh, on-track NASCAR experience I've ever had on a console. Is uh, I I predicted that it would be that way, but now I'm de I can definitely confirm that there is uh, nothing like this. I mean, just doing laps is enjoyable in a way that it, it's never been before. All right, we got some cars pitting. Let me see how they pit because that's one of the things I've been wanting to see. That's, if you saw that car in front of me, I think that was Ty Dillon. He, what I was worried about is to watch these cars pitting on the green where they 
slam on the brakes at the last second and just make a, a hard left turn into the pits. That was never realistic. And what I want to see is a more gradual kind of entry. And I, I just saw that with uh, Ty Dillon and it looks like these guys are a little smoother getting in, maybe slowing down a little bit more gradually and easing the car in the pits. I really hated that last year when you saw them cars just slam on the brakes and make a hard left. You could never do that in real life. You know what, let me pit now, just out of curiosity. And I love the downshift. Drop your speed, right, I overdid it. I suck at uh, entering the pits. So I'm just gonna leave everything the way it is. Yeah, I'm, that's one of my weaknesses, uh, pitting under green. But at least I didn't spin out or wreck. And I, I do see uh, an improvement in the way the AI pits on the green. It's a lot smoother. Look at, look at the customizable fire suits. Look at that fucking paint scheme. I love it. This is what I've been wanting to see. And I hope uh, 704 keeps going in this direction. You know those guys stand out in the pits, man. The other pit crews are uh, jealous. Oh, come on, Matt. Uh, he's being over aggressive. All right, let him go. Go ahead. Come on, if you're going to get in front of me, you got to keep pace. All right, so. That was my first official green flag pit stop. That wasn't bad. Oh, I got somebody on the outside. Oh. Damn it. I didn't make any changes, in all honesty. I'm not 100% sure what I need. There are times where the car feels herky-jerky loose, and then there are times where it's a little tight. So, if, if I don't know what to do, I'll just leave this setup the way it is for now. I'm having a good time with this. I gotta say, this is really challenging. At least it is for me, you know, I'm not the best driver. But I'm loving this, man. This is what I wanna see. I, I don't wanna get to the front so easily. Now, I, I have noticed a lot of people winning easily. I don't know, are they that good or? Maybe they, they didn't have it set all the way up. I mean, I really feel like I suck at this point. 
but I'm, I'm loving the challenge so far. This is my first time, though. Yeah, the one uh, squirrely spot for me is right at the bottom near the apron. I got to stay away from that yellow line. At least uh, with this setup. But look at that track map. That field is nice and spread out. You can you can hear the sound when you uh, if you hit a bump on the track. They really killed it with the sound this year. I love it. The car feels real nice right now, at least for now. I got it on the uh, two times tire wear. I think I think that's perfect because. You know, with the higher settings, I feel like, at least from gameplay video, the tires wear a little too fast. Two times tire wear seems to be the most realistic. Outside, outside. There goes Kevin Harvick on the outside. Still there. Yeah. Oh. I'm a lap down. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna pit. Sandra has the green flag in his hand. Are you ready now? Green, green, green. Outside. I do notice uh, an improvement with the AI awareness. There are moments where I'm used to NASCAR Heat 3 and I think they're gonna side slam me and they kind of try to avoid me. I, I really like that. You got room, you're clear. Man, this feels good. I gotta be honest. You know you did something right when you can run mid-pack and struggle and the racing is still enjoyable. That's, this is the most immersive uh, experience I've had with any NASCAR game. That's how important the sound and the physics and the visuals, those three things, if you can nail that, you're gonna get an authentic NASCAR feel to the game. I'm loving it so far. Yeah, I'm giving it all I got.
think the key is to let off a little earlier in the on entry. Let the car set and then you could get back on it. And that's something I see a lot of people overdrive the entry. But uh, I think I've done a good job avoiding contact with both the wall and the other cars. I think that adds some challenge as well. Man, I love the sound. I know you guys are getting tired of hearing me praise the sound, man, but I feel vindicated. I've been complaining about this for so long. And to finally see an authentic sounding NASCAR game and just actually experience it. I hope you guys can appreciate what the sound actually brings to the game. I think we're at the halfway point. Hey, got Lou, you're clear. It's right. You're clear all around, man. And I love this. Now you can look to the side. You couldn't do that last year in the cockpit view. Look at this. I'm gonna pass uh, Keselowski. Drove it just a bit. It's okay. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. Yeah, when I touch that yellow line on the apron, it does uh, get the car a bit squirrely. Man, this is good. I'm really enjoying this. Look at that, that's nice. Have you seen that, the way he pitted uh, Elliot? It wasn't like that real jerky uh, last minute slam on the brakes uh, turn left deal we've been watching in uh, earlier games. It's a little more uh, of, of an ease into the pits. That's what I've been wanting to see. Oh, man. Shit. I could have been the lucky dog. I'm not. You know what? I got a pit. Those tires are pretty worn. You know what? If there's another caution, I'll I'll be the hopefully the lucky green, dog. Driver. Ready? All right. Green, green, green. That was my first uh, ping pong test with the Ty Dillon just slammed into me on the left side and nothing. And I have everything set on normal, so that's really good, man. Time to go. And 
I gotta be careful on that apron. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try a wider uh, spread just to see how that works. This is not bad. But I have a feeling at uh, other tracks like Darlington and Dover, I, uh, I might need a wider uh, spread. Uh, this isn't bad though. So that's the only change I'm planning to make. This is his last year, so he's going to push it a little more. All right, that's my turn. God damn, this game feels good. I, I've never felt this way over any other NASCAR game. I mean, in terms of just how the racing feels. If I could just get the steering wheel a little bit more optimized, it would be perfect. Still a little, uh, feels like a floaty dead spot in the wheel, but I could live with it. make it to the end but I don't know man my tires are gonna be shot to hell and I got a feeling we're gonna get another uh, caution at some point I'm uh, the first car I locked down. Yep. But I'm in a good spot for the lucky dog if it comes out. There it is. Definitely pitting. All right. Now we're talking. I hope there's no more. Uh, I hope we don't get a late caution. I've been seeing that pop up a lot. You're clear. 
lot. Of, I think some of those lap down cars stayed out. Go I had to restart in the back. Oh. Man, I lost it. Car got suddenly jerky. Oh, that, that would have been a wreck last year. Push it a little more. It's late in the race. I got to get what I can get. Definitely got rid of the ping pong effect, which is great. And I know that people online, I've been watching a lot of gameplay online. People are loving it. You can beat and bang, and, and it's not going to ruin uh, your, your chances. I, I got to tell you, I am really, really happy, at least with my first official race on NASCAR Heat 4. best we can hope for is a top 20. I did get caught a lap down. That kind of hurt my chances. But just judging from uh, my overall performance, I don't think I could have done better than a, maybe a top 15. And believe it or not, that makes me really happy. I did not want to just come out and win first time out.
that was scary. <clears throat> Alright, some people are pitting. Alright, so we're gonna look out and maybe pick up a few spots. But I'm also gonna pick up a spot from Busher. I don't think I'll catch uh, Keselowski. Man, this is good. Good stuff. I gotta tell you, man, that was a handful. Uh, if I did 100%, man, I would be wore out. All right, let's take a quick look at the replay. Uh, let's see, replay length. And we'll do a medium. Man, the game looks and sounds awesome. These are the shots I like. I wanna. I'd like to see more of these shots, like this. Have it look like uh, you're watching a race on TV. Uh, I do think that the camera does switch a lot, but it's, if it stays like this, television type of uh, re uh, presentation, maybe have a ticker go across the top, show you uh, where everybody's running. I think that would be cool. So far, we've been getting all the uh, TV shots. That's good. I like this. I was expecting uh, for the camera to switch to uh, behind the car and all that, but uh, no, this is good. Well, I'm gonna back out. All right, guys. Uh, I want to know what you guys thought of that. I had a blast. That's my first official uh, test of this game. So, you know, the, the wheel isn't perfect yet. I got to still play with it. But I had a hell of a good time. It is easily the best uh, looking, sounding, and feeling on track experience I've ever had in a NASCAR game. Uh, it's just fun making laps in a way that uh, it's never been before. I'm thrilled with this. I am. I love the uh, the challenge that I got. Now I will say that I'm gonna try every track because I do suspect there are gonna be tracks that are easier than others. And I have seen people online win pretty easy. So I I don't know how they're doing it. I mean, I'm not, I, I consider myself above average, but not great by any means. I think if I race these uh, eSports guys, I'm going to get uh, the shit kicked out of me. I'm not that good. So, I don't know. And uh, even people on with uh, using hand controllers, I've seen a lot of easy races for them. So, I don't know, what, what am I uh, missing? Uh, maybe you guys could explain it to me. In either case, I, uh, this is 105, a single race, 25%, and it gave me everything I was hoping for and more. So I'm really happy. I see the buzz on this game is really high. And like I said, I've watched a lot of gameplay, including online racing. And I got to say, the online racing, even that looks 
a lot more fun. And I, I could tell that the people that are racing online, they seem to be having a blast. So kudos to 704. So far, uh, my initial impressions, very good. I'm going to do a video talking about my uh, overall impressions of the game tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, you know, of course, I'm going to wait a couple weeks to do a review. And uh, I'm not going to do career mode for a while. I want to just do single races at 105. And uh, I want to test the game at its, at its highest. Because uh, once I start career mode, I know you start off at the bottom uh, with a three-star ride. It's definitely going to be a challenge. But I want to see how challenging it is at the highest level. So, so far, first race... Fly, uh, they pass with flying colors. So that's it for now. And I'll, you know, I look forward to your comments later.